Okay, good evening, people. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, people, let's get started tonight. Okay, um, today's question is, what are you going to do on your day off? Okay, think about that and tell me, what are you going to do on your day off? Right. All right, teacher. My day off is Sunday, Saturday morning and Sunday. Those are my days off because I work on Saturday afternoon. So what is or what are your days off? And what are you going to do on your day off? Okay, I'm going to start. The attendance with Okay, Anna Lillian Regis. Present teacher. Okay, Anna Lillian, tell me, what are you going to do on your day off? Is, is I will go out with my family to a something, saldré con mi familia a comer algo. Okay, yes, yes, good. Okay, very good. Thank you. Is Brian here? Not yet, okay. Brian Javier Carmona, wait. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Hi, Dinora. Tell me, what are you going to do on your day off? My days off are Saturday and Sunday. And 
I'm going to the church and the supermarket with my family. And we are going to eat lunch. And that's it. Okay, good, good. You must say, I'm going to go to the church. Okay, not only I'm going to church. Okay. You are using I'm going to, okay? I'm going to go. Okay, very good. And what, what church do you go to? Here in La Sagrada Familia. La Sagrada Familia, okay, very good. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Hello, Frida. What Hello, do you teacher. do on your are day you, are you Are you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, my days of our Saturday and Sunday. Um, uh, and I'm going to paint uh, the uh, I'm the today. I'm going to paint the walls of the apartment that just I mo move in. And the Sunday, uh, I'm going to the church. Okay, good. What church do you go to? I'm going to uh, Christ to the Nations. Okay. Excellent. Okay, people, Frida is going to paint her apartment. Anyone can help? <laughs> <laughs> only, okay. only a few walls or algunas paredes nada más yes. or para contraste. Only, uh, no okay. todo el apartamento, no crea. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, good. Uh, very good. Gabriela Irene never showed up. Guillermo Antonio Garcia is here. No. Javier Aldair Escobar. Uh, yeah. Hi, T-shirt. Hello, Javier. What about you, Javier? What are you going to do on your days off? Uh, I don't know, T-shirt. I had problems in my day. Um, <laughs> I, I had... Um, problem uh, with my internet creo que así se dice uh -huh. um, I I had uh, very very much meetings um, um, I had problem uh, como se dice problemas con mi máquina I had a problem with machine uh, machine, machine of machine? What machine? Your computer or? My computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, but the question is, what are you going to do on your day off? Um, when is your day off or when are your days off? No lo sé. No, bueno, es que no salí. No, I'm not asking you about the past. I'm asking you about the future. Ah, okay. What are you um, going to do on your days off? Um, I don't know, teacher. I, I, I go, bueno, creo que estaré en mi casa, pero con, no creo salir. Oh, nice Spanish, Javier. <laughs> Uh, no sé. um, I, you I will, can say that in English. I will no say I will buy my house. I am going to stay. Uh, I'm going to stay in my house. Ah, and... Okay. 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 Good. Very good. Uh, Jose Arnoldo. Mazariego. Good, good evening, present teacher. Hello, Arnoldo. What are you going to do on your days off, Arnoldo? My day off. Usually, we going with my 
I'm going with my, me and my family going to my, my mother or the parents of my wife. Your in-laws. First, uh, we're going to the church. And if, if we have money, we're going to to eat out in a restaurant or a travel to lake. Ah, okay. Okay, yes, very good. Uh, and what church do you go to? What? What church do you go to? It's a Christian. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Thank you Arnoldo. What about no. Jose Gileo, Galileo Barrera? What are you going to do on your days off? Galileo? Good evening, everybody. Easter. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, my days off are Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I, I am I am going to drive from San Salvador to Sulutan on Friday at night. And then I go I going to eat I am going to eat with my family. Uh, Saturday morning, maybe Saturday, Saturday at noon, we are going to the beach, El Espino, uh, in Sultan. Uh, Sunday, my family and I are going to the church at 9 a.m. Asamblea de Dios. Uh, after that, we are going to go to Sulutan City to take a lunch and maybe a pollo, maybe a campestre, maybe hamburguesa. We are going to eat something like that. Uh, and finally, I am going to return to San Salvador from Sulutan. Okay. And I live in San Salvador, in San Jacinto. Okay. That is my routine. Very, very good. Very exciting. Hey, can and I go with you? <laughs> yeah. I love to go. I love you. El Espino. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Yeah. For me, I think it's the most, it's the better beach. The best. Um, I think. Okay. Jose Jonathan, we heal. Are you here? No. Okay. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Jose Rodrigo. Good evening, teacher. Me escucha? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah. What are you going to do on your days off, Rodrigo? Uh, uh, the back of my house, uh, heavy traffic. Uh, this is my mom who is sick. Uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, travel, visit a uh, branch Santa Sonsolate uh, City. On your day off? To, today? No. My question is what are you going to do on your day off? Okay. Uh, visit my mother. 
okay. Where where does she live? Where does your mother live, Rodrigo? In San Salvador. In San Salvador. Oh, work. Avenue Mazarel Norte. Ah, okay. Where on Del Mazarel. You live, uh, ¿cómo se dice cerca? Near. Near to me. Oh. Whoa. You are my neighbor. neighbor? His mother. Are you my neighbor? You live there? You live in that area too, Rodrigo? Uh, living in uh, Mazarra Norte, uh, Street Car Carmen. You? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Catherine Stella. Castaneda. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Catherine. What about you? What are you going to do on your day off? Um, well, on Saturday, um, I clean my house. I wash all my uniforms. And then on Sunday, I go to the church. And maybe we visit a park with my nephews and maybe go to the mountain and have a relaxed time with my family. What mountain? A relaxed time with my family. What what mountain? What mountain? Uh, maybe um, Cerro Verde oh. because we have we have family there. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. It's only that teacher. Excellent. Very good. Enjoy. Okay. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Hello, Laura. What are Hello. you going to do on your days off, Laura? My days off are Saturday and Sunday. Usually on Saturday, I I am going to uh, I am going to pay in the bank. Uh, then um, I am going to breakfast uh, our home uh, and. Uh, I am going to buy in the supermarket and also uh, I am going to uh, visit uh, algún visit visit my friend and he, and Sunday, uh, I am going to rest in the home. Okay. Visit okay. your friend. Yes. Boyfriend? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> friend, friend. <laughs> Immediately, he said, no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> yes. Uh, usual, usually in the Lago de Cuatepeque, uh, visit uh, my okay, my friend uh, Virginia. Uh, mm. Solamente, teacher. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I need some friend in Cuatepeque. Yes. <laughs> Me invitan okay. a veces. Great. Okay. Maria Concepcion Cerón. No, teacher. Hello, Mary. What are you going to do on your days off? Um, my day off on Saturday is uh, I work with late. Um, Sunday, uh, usually go to the church. Uh, but this Sunday, I went to room for the benefit. 
of new children uh, on behalf of uh, the company? My question is, what are you going to do on your day off? So, future, the next day so, off. Fui a, cor fui a correr, teacher. No, but that is past. That is oh. past. I'm asking you about the coming day off. What are you going to do? A future question. You know, you know what I mean, Mary? What are your plans? Uh, okay, teacher. Um, a visit the short. Um, uh, Saturday, siempre, siempre, siempre. Y me toca trabajarlo, entonces es, I work. Um, pero, uh, but uh, Sunday, uh, visit the short, um, pass to my family. Okay. Family. Okay, good. What church do you visit? Um, it is a Mormon. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Maria Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Hello, Ivania. What are you going to do on your day off? My day off, I am going to watch TV and I will to eat with my family. Okay. Yes. Out or at home? At home. Ah, okay, good. You cook something special for on your uh, day off? In the weekend, no. I am going cooking. <laughs> I, not, I am not ah, going to. No. <laughs> no. Oh, ah. Only the uh, the the week. Uh, the week. Um, uh, como yes, cookie. You cook on the week. Cook. Yes. Ah. Weekends. The, yeah, the kitchen cook. is closed. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera. Hola, hola. Good night, teacher, everybody. Good evening, Fernando. Uh, I cannot hola. hear you. Only a little. Hola, hola. Hoy sí? No, yes. todavía no. Yes, better. Hola. I rest every 15 day. I take my son to play on the court. Uh, I paint and draw. I do craft, craft of ah. wooden thing, ah, okay. or or I do plumbing repair. Okay. Uh, and a little time we spend together as uh, my as a family, and we go to the Church of God for the assembly. Okay. Okay, very good. Nice plan. Mayra, Mayra Veralice Moreno. What are you going to do, Mayra, on your day off? She go to the... <laughs> excuse, excuse, excuse. Sunday, Sunday, teacher, porque sábado no sé todavía. <laughs> okay. Going to, I, I'm going to church in the uh, morning. Good girl. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I'm going to the supermarket. Okay. It, and that's it? Mm -hmm. 
No more. Okay, very good. Por ahorita. Ah, Guatemala City. Depends on the boyfriend. Ah. Other ah. activities. Ah. <laughs> Exitazo. Éxito. Okay. Outstanding. Let's see, Zaira, Marlene, Larin. What are you going okay, to teacher. do on your days off, Zaira? I have two day off in morning visit um, grandfather in morning. Tuesday is for rest my house. And where where does your grandfather live? Live in Usulutan City. Is oh. is a rural rural son? Ah, okay. Interesting. Hey, you are uh, your family is near Galileo's family, Usulutan. <laughs> I think Me too, I Usulutan. Ah. Actually, I know I know a man who who has uh, Larin like his second name or last name. His last name is Larin. Maybe he's yeah. Cyrus. I have I have a friend relative. Ah, wow! Well, you can talk about that. Later to see if Galileo, you have a um, partner, a friend, Larin. A friend, she says. Larin, Joel Ernesto, si Larin. Mm -hmm. Joel Ernesto. Jo Joel Alberto, yes. Joel Alberto, si Wensa Larin is, is my friend. He, he was my boss. Uh, a long time ago, and he lived in Hikilispo. Oh, my family, my family is uh, of Alegría. Oh, that's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. place. Beautiful yeah. place. Oh. Invite me let's when go, you go. Let's go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Wendy, Maribel, Zabaleta. Present. What are you going to do, Wendy, on your days off? <laughs> okay. My days off Saturday in the afternoon and Sunday. Um, I am going to um, say I am going to. Yes, okay. I am going to um, wash the clothes in, in Saturday in the afternoon. I going I going I going to wash the dishes, the dishes. And I am going to sleep. <laughs> in in Sunday Sunday in the morning, I am going to go to the Christian church, or I watch, I watch uh, worship for YouTube. Okay. Uh, in the um, in the afternoon, I am going to watch TV, or I am going to go to supermarket. And I am going to iron my uniform at night. Ah. Okay, very good. Now, Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Are you here? Yes. Good evening. Yes. What are you going to do on your days off? I am going to go visit my family on Saturday okay. and Sunday is a little late okay. and come back that day to Santa Tecla. 
Ah, where does your family live? In San Pablo, Tacachico. Ah, okay. So you go and then come back to Santa yes. Tecla. Ah, nice place, San Pablo, Tacachico. Okay, thank you. Elise, not coming, not attending. Karen, Vanessa, or Natasha. Hi, teacher. Hello, Karen. What are you going to do, Karen, on days um, off? I'm going to my friends uh, at the house of one of them. And um, I will practice the karaoke. And I eat, I watch movies. And yeah, this is, this is my plan. OK. Friend, friend, or boyfriend? No, friend, friends. Only friends. Friends, in the general, friend, friends. The friend zone. <laughs> yeah, because I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be cruel. <laughs> OK. Mauricio, Antonio, Orellana. What are you going to do on your days off? Um, well, I... I'm going to read um, Saturday all, all the morning. And I'm going to buy uh, to a uh, supermarket on Saturday and of afternoon. And Sunday, uh, I'm going to visit my mother. This all, please. Okay. Where does your mother? Where does your mother live? Ah, uh, in San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Good boy. Good boy. Rocio, is Rocio here? Good evening. Rocio Lourdes Pimentel. Good evening, Rocio. What are you going Thank to you. do, Rocio, on your day off? Days off. Uh, my days off are Thursday afternoon and Sunday. Um, for the Thursday afternoon, I will be rest or maybe watch a movie or eat pupusa with my family. And for the Sunday, um, I have to paint my house like a partner Frida. Okay. Are you going to change the color? Yes, yes. What color are you going to paint your house? Um, two colors. Um, two colors? Two colors. Uh -huh. uh, it's um, like um, beige. Uh -huh. um, and uh, yellow mustard. Más o menos. Interesting combination. Okay, very good. Okay, people, if you have nothing to do on your weekend, so you can go and help Rocio to paint her home. Okay, excellent. Uh, remember, when we talk about future plans, we use going to. I am going to paint the house. I am going to I go to the supermarket. I am going to visit my family. I am going to go to the beach, okay, etc. That's the way to talk about future plans when you have an idea about the things that you are going to do. Okay, very good. Let's continue now with uh, today's class. Let me share the screen. Uh, here, here. Present teacher, por si no me anotó ahí. Ah, you're late, Brian. What happened? Why did you come late? 
Uh, okay, no problem. The second time I will check. Okay, um, today we are going to talk about or give and ask for check here. Give and ask for opinion about customers satisfaction of a product okay give and ask for opinion about a customer satisfaction of a product um, how does your company uh, know if your customers, your clients are happy or not with your service. How does your company do to know if your clients, if their clients are happy, are satisfied with the service? Can you tell me about sure. your uh-huh. In my case, there are at least two ways to know about the satisfaction uh, from uh, our client. One of them is uh, um, tablets in each restaurant or at each restaurant. Uh -huh. There are tablets with a little survey, 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 survey. Uh -huh. a little survey, maybe 10 questions about the service. Uh, that is the first way we can know if our clients are satisfied. Satisfied? Satisfied. 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 Uh -huh. The other way, satisfied, satisfied, thank you. The other way uh, that we can to know about the satisfaction of our client is uh, through internet system. There are a program, uh, there are uh, there are a software and there are uh facebook too or instagram or whatever um other Net uh, social, social network. network social network that is the way we we know about the satis satisfies oh, okay clients. interesting yeah. interesting okay somebody else can share how do you know if your clients are happy or not with your service? Some, uh, I remember some call centers, they, they give you, no? they tell you that at the end of, your, of the call, you're going to have a short survey. Okay, do you know the meaning of survey? Huh? Encuesta? Okay. Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay, so it's survey. You can see that in the, in the chat in Zoom, survey. Survey is when you ask some questions to your client to evaluate the level of satisfaction okay uh, when you call Tigo for example they tell you okay at the end so you're going to receive a short survey a brief survey and you stay and you can respond to something okay but what about in your company what about uh, uh, how do you know the satisfaction level of your clients? 
Galileo says that they have a survey in a tablet. They use it. And the social network too. ¿Alguien más quiere contarnos algo de su empresa? Come on, people. It's time to speak. Teacher. Yes. In my case, the 90 the 90 por, percent with the client are so satisfying with the attention client, the product. Maybe the the rest can be problem with the the can the quantity. Okay. Don't don't no miren. Eh, miren. Ajá, la cantidad. Eh, ah. Llevan una medida y no es la cantidad correcta. Entonces el problema se da debido a que ellos no piden la cantidad correcta, pero no es por, por problema del They have del wrong, wrong measures. Uh, they, um, this is the, the, the most popular problem with the client. Ah. They don't have uh, um, best measure. Okay, yeah, that happens. No. But the quality and variety of the product is, is almost perfect. Okay. And how do you know that the clients are satisfied? Repeat, please. How do you know your clients are satisfied? About the commentaries, okay. um, they are the maybe eighty percent of the clients. They are friends of the boss, oh. and they say and talk with the boss, and they say and say uh, to to him. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. And the good. and the boss replied the information with the all people in the work. Okay, good. Aha, uh -huh. anybody else? In my case, um, the service of travel agency is good and. My clients uh, are are my friends, and my friends uh, uh, say say here or or his or her problems. <laughs> wow. Travel agent, travel agent, and psychology. <laughs> psychology. <laughs> okay. No, uh, uh, say. For example, travel, business travel, or or parent or family die and travel for for this um, is is personally per, is service person personal. Okay. Yes, and satisfy. Um, uh, the service, uh, the clients say, excellent. The problem are uh, air. Um, airlines. Airlines, yes. Ah. Change the, change. I, um, I make travel ticket for the, the date for the terminal date but uh, air air um, for example la bianca or american airlines in volaris change the date ah yeah mm, in for, for um 
administration for fix the plane well okay, that's a the big problem. problem yes okay so so it is important to know the level of satisfaction of your clients that's why always at the end of this courses so you have a survey now to evaluate the satisfaction okay so it is important to know the satisfaction level of your customers okay let's take a look to this uh, survey and you tell me if the if this client is happy with the company or not? Look at this survey, four questions. It's a quick survey. The first question is, how satisfied are you with this product? Yeah, how satisfied are you with this product? The options are, very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. This, this client or this customer marked dissatisfied. Number two, rate your opinion about the product's quality. The options are high quality, average, average is mm, not too big, not too low. The other option is low quality. And the last one is very low quality. And this customer's opinion is the product quality is very low. Now, question number three. The value of this product is excellent, good, poor, or very poor? This customer thinks the value is poor. And number four. Will you continue using this product? Yes or no? customer said no wow is this a good evaluation for the company no it's no. bad evaluation yes it's terrible right terrible. what is what is poor what what is poor very poor, poor. Poor is, poor. Uh, yeah, how can I say, the opposite of rich. You know what is rich? It is a pobre. Yeah. Rico. Pobre, yes. decadente. Poor, yeah. Poor. The value is poor. Pobre. Okay, now there are three questions here. Read the information again to answer the questions. How was the customer's experience? Is the product a good one or a bad one? And think about possible problems the customer has with the product. Okay, I will give you five minutes to work uh, to respond these three questions. And you will do it in group, okay? Respond these three questions about the survey, okay? Let me send you to small groups. Okay. Yeah, 
Okay, good. So please join your groups and respond the questions. de mi esposo reinició el router porque estaba moviendo cosas y no me sacó de la clase. Oh, excuse me, I couldn't oh, hear you. Sorry, teacher, que mi esposo le estaba moviendo unos muebles y desconectó sin querer el router del internet y me, me sacó. Ay, Roberto, Roberto. ¿Verdad? <risa> No se acordaba que yo estaba en clase y estaba, estaba moviendo un mueble. Ok, no problem. Uh, ¿Con quién estaba? No, es que me sacó justamente cuando estábamos hablando de, ah. de, por qué, de las encuestas, que si nuestra empresa hacía una encuesta y de ahí antes de que formara los grupos me sacó. Ah. Entonces okay. no estoy en ningún grupo ahorita. Uh, voy a enviar entonces. Ah. Ok, thank you.
price. A high price. Hi. H I G H. Ajá, uh -huh, pues sí. A high price. En poor quality. En um, poor quality. 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 And the last possible problem is that the the sub, the agent lied with the product information. Okay. Maybe the ah poor. Okay. Yes, poor. poor. Okay. Number. Two, I'm sorry, number two, write your opinion about the product quality. Product quality. Uh, very low quality. Number four, will you continue using this product? No. Okay. Uh, number three, read the opinion, the information again to answer the question, compare with a partner. How was the customer experience? It was really bad. Nos adelantamos las clases del teach. <laughs> We finished, teacher. Okay, very good. Congratulations. Okay, there are some students still missing. Let's wait for them. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Let's continue. But first, I need to take the second attendance. Okay, so please turn on your cameras and say and respond. Um, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Good. Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Good. Minor Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Good. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Guillermo Antonio Garcia. No. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Good. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present. Okay. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Good. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Concepción Cerón. Present. Okay. Maria Ivania Palma. Present. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera. Present teacher. I'm okay. here. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present. Good. Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Okay. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rellana. Present. Okay, and Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Present. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's take a quick look at these questions. How was the customer's experience according to that survey? Tell me. The satisfied. The satisfied. Uh huh. What the else? Satisfied. That's good. Bad. It was terrible. Terrible, right? Okay, according to this survey, is the product a good product or a bad product? The product is bad very low product. quality. It's a bad product. Bad product. It's a bad product. Yeah, bad product. And what are some possible problems? Tell me, what do you think? Bad advice. I'm sorry? <laughs> Bad advice. Okay. Uh, the possible problem of the product are the very low quality, uh, poor voltage, Vo voltage, no say in, in English. Voltage? <laughs> what to okay. say? Voltage. voltage. Poor voltage with tour and in a tour of uh, products. Okay. The battery drains fast. Uh, uh -huh. The battery maybe, okay. The price is too high for the quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would give a bad sorry for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a terrible product, okay. Okay, very good. Um, the product was different from what has pro, 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 pro. Ah, okay sometimes when you buy online that may happen no so the picture is one thing and the product is completely different okay 
Well, and we are going to learn a little bit about these two uh, modal verbs, may and might, may and might. First, let's practice these examples and then I'm going to explain a little bit. Repeat after me, please. May. 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 I may ask for a refund. I may, I ask, may ask for a refund. You may buy at a different store. You may, may buy at a, at a different store. They may not provide a good service. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectations. It may, it may not reach your expectations. expectations. You see the affirmative form may, the negative form may not. Okay? okay. Then we have might. <laughs> Might. 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 She might want a refund on those units. She, she might, might want a refund on those, those units. units. They might complain about their service. They might complain about, about the service. About the service. Okay. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. We might, we might ask, ask with, the with the supervisor. He might not buy here again. He, he might, might not, not buy here, here, again. here again. Observe that when we use these mobiles, okay, uh, the verb is in what form? Huh? In what form? Base form. Ah, base, base form. form. Okay. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter if this is she. Okay, remember that with she, we usually add S to the verbs, but not in this case. She might want, they might complain. Actually, este verbo llega hasta aquí, sin la T. We might ask, we might not buy. ¿Verdad? El verbo va en su forma básica. Okay, cuando usamos may or might. Teacher. Hola. What is the difference between two modal verbs, may and might? Okay, we are going to see that right now. Let me show you this. Okay, may, uh, may is used to express permission or possibility, okay? Permission or possibility. In this case, we are talking about possibility. The negative of may is may not. Okay, so may express possibility. Uh, I may become a doctor, for example. I may become a doctor. In this example, may is used to express the possibility of me becoming a doctor in the future. That's a possibility, all right? I may go to the supermarket tomorrow. It's not a plan, 
is I am not sure, but there is a big possibility. It's very possible. Okay? That is May. Um, and another example, may I have a glass of water? In this case, in this example, may is used to ask permission to have a glass of water. Okay, in this case, may expresses permission. May I go to the bathroom? May I come in? Okay, permission. And possibility. Let's take a look to might. Might is used to express possibility. It differs from may in that the possibility it expresses is usually smaller, okay? The possibility is smaller than may. So is less probably. If I use might, so the possibility is less, is smaller possibility. For example, I might become a doctor when I grow up, but I doubt it. Pero lo dudo. Uh, it's not probably, okay? In this example, might is used to express the small possibility that I will become a doctor when I grow up. So that is the difference between may and might. Okay? May expresses a higher possibility. Might expresses a slow a lower or smaller possibility is that hello is it clear yes, yes teacher. please tell me something <laughs> okay Leo, thumbs up. It's, Maybe that it's best. Really, it's really clear. <laughs> May is a possibility. Might is also a possibility, but a smaller possibility. Okay? Teacher, no termine de copiar. Oh, no problem. I can share that in WhatsApp. Okay? I'm going to share this in WhatsApp. Give me a moment okay. to put it in WhatsApp, okay? There you go. Hey. And might. Who's calling? My DC. What's this?
Now, uh, let me give you some exercises to practice. I hope you can see this. Okay. The third slide is or are some exercises. Um, okay, this is very simple. Please choose the correct form, okay? Circle the correct form to complete the sentences. I will send you to working groups to do this, okay? I look in the WhatsApp. Teacher. Hello, teacher.
Hello, Catherine. ¿Qué pasó? Catherine. Ay, teacher, ay, ay, no había encendido mi, mi, mi micrófono, estaba de hablar con usted. Um, I don't have group, teacher. I am working alone. I don't know why. Okay, thank you. El cuadrito. Teacher, we have a question. The use uh, the ad B uh, don't explain to us. Entonces, when is the proper use uh, when we are when we add the Preposition B. Okay. Um, when B is the verb. B is the verb. Okay. So when B is the verb in the sentence. For example, if I say, ah, for example, okay. in the number in the number in the number three. Uh -huh. I may may not be at okay. work tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for oh. the information. Thank you. Okay, because in the others you have a verb. For example, in number one. Uh -huh. Mayra? Emily, no, 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 teacher, I, explíqueme. The verb is travel. The verb is travel. The verb is travel. Uh, I think he might be, number two, might be sick. Mm. When we don't have verb, we use be in this case. But sometimes the verb is be. Oh, only one question more. Mm -hmm. In the number two, I think, I think, he might be sick. He might be. Might be sick. Sick is sick is is not very. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick, sick. sick. Yeah. sick is, is, is the symptom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he are sick or sad. Okay. Mayra, you do understand? El qué? Entendió? Ah, y para empezar ya lo oí. No, por eso, yo lo entendí, pero como usted, usted preguntó que dijo que no había entendido. Ah, sí, yo no le había entendido al teacher, pero yo creo que sí. I may... Any question here? No, Tisha, según nosotros la estamos haciendo bien.
teacher, I'm not finished. Ok, los regresé un momentito para explicar algo, ¿verdad? Que puede confundirles ahí en el ejercicio. Ok, um, porque ven ustedes que en unos tenemos el verbo be y en otras respuestas no tenemos el verbo be. Simple. Cuando en la oración no tenemos un verbo después de, de might o may, ¿verdad? Entonces el verbo será be en este caso. Si hay un verbo, no vamos a usar el be. Porque hay otro verbo. Por ejemplo, en la número uno. Dice, eh, my family and I. Y luego tenemos el espacio y travel to Montreal next summer. Travel es verbo, sí o no? Yes. 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 Ok. Entonces, en este caso, vamos a usar might. My family and I might travel to Montreal next summer. And number two. John isn't in class today. He might or might be sick. Sick is verbal? Yes or no? No. No. No, ¿verdad? Sick no es verbo. Entonces usaremos might. No, I'm sorry. Might be. Might be sick. John o Juan no está en clase hoy. Yo creo que él might be, puede estar enfermo. ¿Ok? Entonces, si no hay verbo, might be o may be. Si hay verbo, no, porque ya hay un verbo. Entonces, usamos be solo cuando es el verbo principal. ¿Está claro? Yes, teacher. Vaya, pues. Yes. Lo mando de regreso para que termine. Ah, oh, teacher. Hola. En el número 3, maybe, may not be. O sea, tiene siempre el verbo, tú ven a todos. Sí, ahí. Definitivamente va el verbo be. Bueno, hay que ver qué dice para ver si es afirmativo o negativo. Okay. ¿Ya? Depende de lo que dice aquí, usted tiene que saber si es I may be at work o I may not be at work. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok. Okay, I'll give you five, five more minutes to finish this. Let's see.
Okay, people, welcome back. Any question with the exercise? No, teacher. No more. Okay, so I will give you another one. And this, you're going to do it in pairs. Here, okay. You see, I have eight questions here. So you're going to respond and then you are going to ask each other. So, van a preguntar el uno al otro, ¿verdad? Estas preguntas, pero información lo más veraz posible. What might you do after class? Uh, what might you do after class? Well, after class, I might uh, watch TV. So to sleep. Uh, nah, too early. What oh. time may you get up next Saturday? On next Saturday, I may get up at um, 8 a.m. Where might you live in 10 years? In 10 years, I might live in this house. No, maybe not this house, but in this neighborhood but in another house. What may you do next weekend? Ah, next weekend, I may, it's possible, I may go to have breakfast with my wife. When might you get a new job? When might you get a new job? I might get a new job. I don't know, I might, maybe next year. When might you get married? Well, if you are married, now it's fun, or you can, I, I, am, I am married already. If not, you can uh, speculate here. What may you dream about tonight? Oh, tonight I may dream about uh, about going to the beach. How much money may you spend next week? Well, next week I may spend I don't know, like no. No <laughs> I may spend like one hundred dollars. Yeah, I have to pay my bills. <laughs> okay, so respond and then practice asking your classmate, okay? Practice asking each other. Okay, la idea es conversar acá, preguntarse el uno al otro. Bien. Voy a compartirles esto, eso los para que lo hagan. Y luego vamos a trabajar en pairs. se me quede fuera que entonces si sí me dejan a alguien solito porque están en parejas ok
Okay, welcome back. Okay, we're going to check this work tomorrow, okay? It's time for the last attendance. And tonight's personal class, personal session is with Jacqueline Goribel, okay? So you please stay 10 minutes after the class. Okay, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, thank you for attending. Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Thank you for attending. Leonor Alejandro Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, have a good night. Pira Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. Um, Guillermo Antonio Garcia, no. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, good night. José Arnoldo Mazariego. He left already. José Galileo Barrera. Present and good night. Good night, Galileo. Jose Jonathan Vigil, he didn't show up today. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher and good night. Good night. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Good night, Laura. Good night. Maria Concepcion Cerón. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Hey, Maria Ivania Palma. Present. Okay, good night. Good night. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present. Okay, good night. Zaira Marleni Larín. Present teacher and good night. Good night, Saira. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Okay, bye-bye. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Okay. Uh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Okay, good night, Karen. Good Mauricio night. Antonio Orellana. Present. Good night, Mauricio. And Rocio Lourdes Pimentel. Present. Good night. Good night, Rocio. Okay, Jacqueline. So the idea is first, if you have any question, si hay algo que quiere que reforcemos, pues por ahí arrancamos. No comprendí muy bien como el may y el might, pero que se mencionó que uno como que tenía más probabilidad. ¿Verdad? Ambos se refieren a possibility, ¿verdad? Pero may es una posibilidad más fuerte que might. Creo que en español no tenemos mucho esa diferencia. ¿Verdad? Menos que diéramos, puede ser que llueva. Podría llover. Es difícil hacer diferencia realmente en español. No es como muy aplicable. Exacto. ¿no? Todos nosotros lo diríamos puede. I may go to the beach Okay. 
Y podríamos repasar lo de el dis, el dat. demonstrative pronouns. ¿Verdad? Vimos que this es para cuando algo está cerca y es singular, es uno. This apple, esta manzana. ¿Verdad? No solamente es el this, esta, este. Eh, Singular, cuando algo está far, está lejos, es el that. Sería para nosotros el ese, eso, esa, aquel, aquella. ¿verdad? Tenemos más palabras nosotros, el that. That up. El, el plural, el plural de this and these ¿No? these apples cuando algo está cerca son varios y el those es el plural de that varias momentos lejos ¿cómo those sería apples. la ¿cómo sería la pronunciación de this y en plural? This, these, this, these. Yes, es como el singular es, se pronuncia como con una e. This. En, en medio entre e y. Nada, no es exactamente e. Es this, this. Yes. Es una, como una I más, más pronunciada. This. 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 Aunque eh, la verdad, a la hora de estar hablando, bien difícil distinguir claramente uno del otro. Lo, lo que te guía es sobre todo el plural. Siempre lo vas a escuchar con algo singular y esto siempre va a ir con una palabra plural. Ok. ¿Ya, no? ¿No? Ya, ahora es, puede sonar dependiendo del lugar, de la zona, de, de donde te hablen, de donde te hablen, puede que sea más fuerte la diferencia entre uno y el otro, o puede que sea más leve la diferencia. Entonces, bueno, vimos este ejercicio. Para marcar. Número uno. Dice, look at. ¿Cuál sería? A, B o C. Sería... Sí. No. B. B. ¿O qué? ¿O qué B? No, sería dos. Porque están lejos. Look at those birds up there in the tree. Están lejos y son varios. Okay, number two. Are mm, your books over there on the table? 
over there significa allá. Dos. Dos. Okay. Number three. My umbrella is right here. Right here. Mm, this. this is my umbrella. This. Maybe. B or C? A, B or C? B. B, correct. Those apples are red, but mm, apples over here are green. Letter C. Letter C, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Dr. Smith. Could you please look at mm, cut on my finger? Letter B. My finger. This letter A. A. This. Maybe we can ask mm, policeman for directions. That. was a difficult test we had last week. This. Last week. Ya no es, ya no es algo inmediato, incluso. No solo de distancia, sino de, de tiempo. That. That. How many of mm, cookies would you like? Two? Okay, here you are. Letter C. Letter C, all right. Did you and your family stay at a mm, hotel in Paris? At that. Okay, yes, that. Please come here and look at the picture. Come here. This. This, yes. Who has mm, man, no, who was a uh, man you talked to yesterday? That. That. Can you see mm, fishing boats on the lake? This. No, sería those. Those, on the lake. So, tan, tan lejos que le pregunta si lo puede ver. Uh, the movie we saw last night was really great. Letter C. Last night. That. Cake is delicious. When I finish it, could I please have another slice? This. This. Correct. 
Do you know person over there by the post office? That. Uh, do you think um, 16 grammar questions are easy or difficult? This. This, correct. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And, wow, it's time. <laughs> okay, time flies in this session. Okay, thank you very much, Jacqueline. Muchas gracias. Good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.